So now we're on to our timer timing bits. Timer timing bits will be used anytime we want to turn something on for a set amount of time. So if I gave you guys a project that I said, I want you to run a alarm for five seconds, this is the, the bit that you would be using. You're going to use the timer timing and you're going to set your timer up for that five seconds, okay? So let me go ahead and we're just gonna jump right into this with a simple timer with a timer timing bit. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I get really lazy and I hate uh, having to go back up for, oops, let me go ahead and insert run, going back up. So I just kind of put them all out here and then I code the whole thing, okay? Or address the whole thing, so. And then we can just do I colon zero slash zero. This is no longer a pressure switch, it's a blue button. All right, we're gonna do T4 colon zero. This is my timer one. Base again, we'll do like five seconds, give us some time to think, and now we're going to go ahead and code this one to T4 colon zero slash TT for timer timing. All right, and then let's do our green light, which is an O colon zero slash zero. Go ahead and download this. So when I press my blue button, my light will start. It's gonna, and it'll stay on for five seconds. Whether I'm done pushing that blue button or not, it will stay on for five seconds, as long as I'm holding it, I guess. See, it's on, then it stops. We're gonna let go of it, reset it, do that again. Awesome. So that's how the timer timing bit works. Now I wanna talk about some cool things that we can do with the timer timing bit. One thing that is very frustrating with all these timers is I have to sit here and hold this button this whole time. Well, the timer timing bit kind of gives us a uh, way around that. So we're going to take, uh, go ahead and go offline. And we can take, and we can actually go ahead and put a drop down around our start button. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take another timer, I'm sorry, another instruction and do a T4 colon zero slash, oops, TN, just like that. And now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna start press my blue button, the timer's gonna start. The timer timing is going to latch it on. So then I'm gonna have a path of true going around, keep my timer on. So let's go ahead and download it. All I'm doing is I'm really enhancing the usability of this, uh, this light, really. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and press my blue button, release it. Look, the timer timing is taken over. And it's still running till it's done, okay? Again, I press that blue button, let off of it, and it's still continuing to hold my timer on. That's one of the really, really cool things about uh, this, this timer timing is this ability. Um, we also could do something where, let's say, let's go offline here, because we haven't really spent much time talking about how we can use multiple bits at the same time. Now we're kind of done with the timer timing at this point. There, there is a lot of different uses for it, but those are like these, those are the, the two really cool ones is this latching bit um, and then just keeping something on for a set amount of time. But let's say I had a motor and I wanted to have a pre-start alarm. I was like, I want to have a pre-start alarm for five or for five seconds. So we'll rename this one alarm because I don't want to have one going while I'm talking. And then I wanted a motor to turn on after that five seconds. Okay. So we're now we're just going to take this guy and we're in T4 colon zero slash DN. Enter. And I'm going to put in a, a motor here. So I, or O colon zero slash one. And we'll just call this one motor. Okay. Now we have to make sure we delete our, our latch bit at this point because the latch bit will never let this thing be done, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and, do, oh, and always make sure you take your uh, instruction outside of your rung or it'll just delete it with it. So we'll go ahead and download this. Yes, yes. When we hold the blue button, it's gonna run the timer for five seconds. Our alarm's on, alarm stops, motor comes on. 
So that kind of completes our um, section on timer timing. I uh, hope you guys can find a million ways to use this. The activity we're going to do is I want you to turn a light on for five seconds and then it turns itself off. Okay, so go ahead and program that up. Good luck, guys.